have been consistently harassed for an update since posting, so please take it. Gloat because you're such wonderful people in comparison. Stop following me around Reddit. I'm suffering in the wake of my infidelity and unprofessional behavior as I knew I would. I understand that it is an appropriate outcome and I'm taking full accountability. I was suspended from work on Monday and I'll probably be fired sooner than I thought. I'd hope to be able to save money as HR built their case, but it looks like Amy's brother basically performed the entire investigation for them. After the excruciating three hour run through everything they had, I spoke to the founder and he recommended the solicitor I am now using. The issue is that the company has to come down hard to protect themselves because even though Amy's family doesn't have much chance of a claim, any suggestion of a cover-up could cause damage regardless. The founder still thinks my offer to pay them back will keep it out of court and some more information has come to light. So it's not certain I won't be prosecuted, but I'm quietly hopeful. I can't afford to keep the solicitor if this goes much further, especially with the divorce on the horizon. Good, your wife knows. Things are not good with my wife. I'm still committed to making this as easy as possible for her, but I had to draw a line when it came to my daughter. When I got home from being unceremoniously escorted out of my office, she already had a bag packed for me. She wouldn't let me wait at the house until my daughter was back. She wouldn't let me check. I had everything I needed. She wouldn't let me take the car and she didn't care that I had nowhere to go. Spent two nights in a hotel and then went back when she refused to let me see my little girl. She tried to stop me, but we owned the house jointly and it was my only option. My wife has family she could stay with, but she won't leave our daughter here and she's absolutely not taking her. So we're at a stalemate right now. I'm keeping out of her way as best as I can, which I appreciate is the least I can do. The Amy situation is quite difficult to talk about and a lot hasn't sunk in yet. It turns out that she didn't love me as much as I loved her, if at all. Her brother sent me images of her talking to her friends about me and it's hard to believe they came from the person I loved, but they are real. Sorry to those who are heavily invested in me being a predatory abuser, but she and her friends had a good laugh about her manipulating me for money and a promotion. The role came with a big pay raise and it looks like her plan was to treat us free cash, then go work with one of her friends when it fell through. She knew I'd come under scrutiny whenever she messed up and assumed I'd keep stepping in to save her. She was right. I'm sorry, I don't feel bad for you at all. You got got. You had a whole ass wife. Good. Uh, like, good for her. Rest in peace. For, like, taking all your money because you deserve that. But, like, what is wrong with you? I cannot feel sympathy for you at all. At all. If you were just a poor, innocent man trying to find love, okay, I get it. But you legit just wanted to share on your wife. You had a family at home. If you cared that much about your daughter in the first place, like you say you are, you wouldn't have done anything you did. Obviously, I'm completely humiliated. I was planning to give up everything to build a life with her, and she was treating me like a joke the whole time. My feelings are complicated, so please don't feel entitled to any expansion on this, but I no longer feel guilt over her death. Reddit acted like I kept her hostage while she begged for help. What actually happened was that I asked if she could ask her friend to take her to the hospital because I had to go home. She said that was fine because she needed to go get some clothes back from her anyway and I dropped her off as normal. Ultimately, she was an adult who had a better understanding of her medical needs than I did. I still don't know what happened between us saying goodbye and her death, but whatever it was, it had nothing to do with me. I'm sorry for her family's loss, but I bear no responsibility for her passing. After Amy's message to her friends were passed around, a few people quietly reached out with words of support. I assumed everyone would write me off like Reddit did, as an abuser and a predator. Now it's clear that Amy was using me. They see me as a fool who had then lost it all. It's beyond humiliating, but I have learned I'd rather be pitted and despised and improves my legal position with work. There are small mercies, but I'll take what I can get. I remain filled with regret and I have learned many lessons by the time I get through this. I may have been deceived, but I am a grown man who made my choices and I take full responsibility for them. That was a... Uh... Am I overreacting about my friend finding my husband on Tinder? Me and my husband are currently expecting our first baby together. I'm 30 weeks pregnant and my friend who works with me approached me asking me if my husband had a brother that looked exactly like him and I said, yeah, he does. Why? And then she asked me if his name was John and I was like, no, it's not. And then she kept explaining to me that she was scrolling on Tinder and she came across a guy that looked exactly like my husband. So she showed me a screenshot of the profile and I was so taken aback and shocked that my husband is on Tinder using pictures of himself, but with the fake name John. Now, here is a little bit of backstory. So me and my husband actually met on Tinder. We met eight years ago and all the pictures that are on his Tinder that I saw that my coworker showed me were the pictures that were on there when I first met him and the bio is also the exact same as it was eight years ago. I was out of town working about 100 miles away from where I live, but my friend has her Tinder set to like the farthest distance possible. That's when I found out about this whole situation was when I was out of town. Now my theory is that I think my husband must be using Tinder whenever I go out of town to hook up with other women because 
I go out of town pretty regularly for my job, like every month for a couple days. Either that or this is just a one-off thing, but I'm really worried because this is the same exact Tinder that was used when I met him eight years ago. So I feel like maybe he's been using Tinder on and off our entire relationship. Am I overreacting? Should I blow up our entire lives and marriage with a baby on the way? I haven't approached him about this yet because I'm really not sure the best way to go about it. But I obviously have all the screenshots that my friend gave me and since I've been back home, I've been really distant and he's been asking me what's wrong pretty often. Am I wrong for refusing my birthday gift because it was a Weight Watchers subscription? That is so many shades of fucked up. Hey everyone, I turned 18 female yesterday, but it seems to cause a bit of drama in my family, so I'm asking for honest, objective opinions on whether I'm wrong. For reference, my weight has always been made fun of in my family. My aunt specifically has always been very unkind and fat shamed me, even when I was younger and struggling with my body image. She used to tell me that my clothes look so small on me and that even her clothes are probably small for me. She used to remind me to go on diets constantly. I'm currently 320 pounds if it adds context to. I hadn't seen my aunt in a while and for the most part I was really glad to see her for my birthday. I was slightly dreading if she would say something to me because I'm aware I've gained a lot of weight since I last saw her. But she just made a few comments so I thought it was the end of it. I was opening a birthday card she gave me a few hours later and it had money in it. With a note that said, money for Weight Watchers. Make some real change for once. That is so fucked up. What the heck? This was humiliating and I asked her about it. And she said that she could tell I was miserable and that I was probably looking really good underneath the fat. She said this in front of my parents. And it was very embarrassing. Did your parents not stand up and say like, hello, don't talk to my daughter that way. What kind of aunt? I'm an aunt. Okay, let me finish the story and then I'll, let me give my two cents, okay? I told her I'm not accepting the gift and she's making me look stupid. But she said that she was just worried for me and my health. I don't believe this. She's made fun of my weight for years, even before I was a teenager. But my parents think I was overreacting and I should have just accepted it. My aunt has a notoriously big mouth and my parents think she's going to tell our whole family so they're getting kind of worried about what I've done. So, am I the asshole? So if you're asking if you, the, the question itself, are you the asshole for doing this? No, absolutely not. She did that. What she did was really, really disrespectful and wrong on so many different levels. Now, as an aunt to six lovely children myself okay boys and girls i love these kids with all my heart okay i'm not in any way shape or form trying to defend your aunt okay you can mean well i can mean well but i would never in a million years talk to one of my children that way and i look at my niece and nephew as my children that's why i'm saying that it's all about the way you say it right if i had a niece in that situation i would never like oh my god i wonder if this aunt of yours is very skinny or overweight or very into her looks because i just really don't like that kind of vibe if my niece was not in that kind of situation where she's anyone who's fat knows they're fat you don't have to tell them it's like we know like they know we know okay we know people are no people know when they're overweight i would do everything in my power to help her but never like that i don't know it's not no it's not that i don't know i do know you're not wrong for saying that i wish your parents had said something and like put her in her place i just don't know why some people are so evil like that they just don't like i don't know if it's the word is social etiquette but there's some things you say out loud there's some things you don't if i'm close enough to someone like especially my niece you're just turned 18 you're a child why am i gonna say that to you in front of all these people you know i, I know it's it sucks being overweight 100 right and as an aunt she wants to help she can say well my intentions were good i just wanted to help you, but her execution was completely wrong completely wrong for example i'm gonna reference my family here okay my brother was really overweight growing up chubby brother okay and my my uncle got may god bless him took him one summer for my mom we lived in new york he lived in california he's like i'm gonna take i want him to hang out with me for the summer and every day they work out play football and then they would eat pizza at night or like they would reward him with it and my brother came back hella skinny instead of like making him so aware that he was overweight he just made him like exercise with him and play and like enjoy california go to the beach go swimming and made him do all these things that made him feel good and then look good he felt good you know and there's it's all like you fat ass lose the weight that's never gonna work guys or girls regardless of the gender so 